Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna to show you how to go from these speeds here, which are not bad, to these speeds here, which are a whole lot faster. All right, stay tuned. You'll enjoy this, trust me. And always go for AT&T speeds because they're the best. AT&T, that's who I like. Other companies aren't bad, Spectrum and all the other ones, but AT&T, trust me, 5,000 bank service. You gotta have the power for it, but it's the best. All right, let's see. This is the Wi-Fi before. There's a Wi-Fi speed test. And I'm gonna show you how to go from here. And let's upload. We're gonna cancel that right quick. And the new speed test. And then this will be my new Wi Fi speed test. Hold on a second. Changing it. Got to change it over to the new one. And I'm going to go ahead and retry. Boom! Shock it like a Wi Fi 6. 800 megabytes per second. I don't know why I dropped like that. Probably because everything is on right now. That's amazing. Boom! Look at that. Consistently 531. A spike at 800. Oh, let's do that again. That's fun. <laughs> Test again. Oh, we try. There we go. Man, that's awesome. That's my Wi Fi at its finest. This is an Apple Mac 2015, also. So, um, yeah, 827 download, 843 upload. Goodness, that's awesome. <laughs> Your connection is very fast. <laughs> All right, so I'm currently in the uh, the GUI for the smart home, or not smart home, for the um, gateway. And on this side, it kind of tells you what you got going on here. Wi-Fi band steering, turn Wi-Fi on and off and all that good stuff. Well, this has like three radios to it. Uh, the maximum client for the uh, 2.4, I believe, is 80, 90? Uh, eight, 90 clients. And the 5G supports 96 clients. So once you're in there, you can go and... You can separate the 5G or the 2.4, and I just have it here with 5G. And then you can go down to the 5 gigahertz frequency. And you can also change it. Just change it. So I'm gonna kinda just, I'm gonna take the 5G off just for now. And I'm gonna show you the speeds on 2.4 and 5G, let me save that. Continue, be right back. All right, um, let me turn the Wi-Fi back on on this uh, Mac. Come on, Wi-Fi on, preferences. No, I'm not gonna, uh, so there's the 5G Wi-Fi speed and uh, I'm just gonna run a speed test on it right quick. So that the 5G is not really 5G, it's a two point, oh, let me hook undo the, uh, Ethernet cord, my bad. <laughs> it's gonna start tanking. Why is this slowing down? Cancel that and retry. So that's your 2.4 gigahertz speeds, and I, I'm pretty impressed. Over 100 megs. It might, it's probably hitting that end card. I think the maximum speed on the uh, end card is about 140. Wow, I am really impressed. That is your 2.4 speeds on the best card possible. I think it's got like a BGN card, you know what I mean? So let me find um, other networks. I'm not used to, there it is right there. I'm not used to. Um... All right, so I should be connecting to the five gigahertz frequency. And yeah, even though this is 5G, it's not really 5G. All right, so this is really 2G and this is really 5G. I'm hooked up to the 5G right now. We saw the 2G speeds on this one and this one, so let's see what happens when we go to 5G speeds. 
And there, there you go. That's a uh, five gigahertz frequency. Cool, it's picking up the Wi-Fi 6. Nice. I always say anything over 350 megabytes per second um, is your Wi-Fi 6. But at the same time, your gateway... Like, my gateway is probably 10 feet away from my computer. I mean, I have an Ethernet cord. Right down here. <clears throat> so, it, it sets it up. Uh, Wi-Fi speeds, they're, they're completely different whenever you go from 2G to 5G. I mean, this is this is 5G Wi-Fi 6 speeds, and I'll show you again. I mean, I, that's, that's freaking crazy. You know, I'm going to go up here and change it from that to uh, this one here the 5G speeds and it's gonna slow it down like crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and retry. Like I said, it's, it's very impressive for uh, 2.4. And as long, like I had Giga Power in my home, 5,000 meg servers down and up. I'll never hit those speeds because my computers won't read those speeds. But um, though, on the back of the computer, on the back of the gateway, it says 192.168.1.254. And you will need a device access code as long as you keep that to yourself. No one's gonna, no one's gonna hack in your stuff. Uh, and it still says your internet connection is very fast. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's how I like to do it. Anyways, I hope to help this kind of explain to you guys what the differences is between the 2G and the 5G uh, because you have the 2.4 gigahertz BGN card. There's three cards inside of it, and um, while, uh, let me see, 2.4, I mean, you can go on a computer and 2.4 versus that, and it kind of tells you, and it's, and it's serious, 2.4 has the widest range, most coverage for your home, while the, uh, while the uh, less coverage just means faster data, because it, it's like a, it's like a 2.4 on the, like whales, it's a low band frequency, so it can be heard around the world. Gosh, it's not that low. It's high, actually. While 5G is like a bat. And it's just zipping through the world. You know, super, super fast. But uh, there's different cards on here. 2.4. Let me see if I can... Um, B. G. And you just go to BGN meeting like this. So, there's different frequencies also. What's the best BG or N? N is for speed, BG for range, and older devices like your legacy devices. Um, like this, this uh, Mac, because the 2015 Mac used the N card because uh, I saw over 100 megs on there. Anything over 50 megs, you know you're getting on it. And you can even do this. And it'll tell you, um, offers greater performance. So your G can go, go, Short distance while your ends well ends more power. This one's more. I don't know. Yeah, your end card's got more speed, but it's a farther distance. While your G, I believe, is a five gigahertz. I want to say I could be wrong. I don't really mess with low bands like I used to. But uh, there you go. I mean, just a little little something there. Hope this helped you guys with the differences, and I hope you get to your spades that you want. You got to have one thousand meg servers to your house or five hundred to get these high end speeds because the Two, your your Wi-Fi is not going to get any better no matter what you do to it. Uh, is what what you're getting to the home is what you're going to get on a hardline device as long as you have all four pairs of the uh, Cat5 or Cat6 in. Okay? So, don't let anybody confuse you and say, oh, hey, I can make your Wi-Fi a whole lot faster. Oh, what's your maximum speed to the house? 18 megs and you can, maximum you get is 18 megs in the house. You're not going to get you know 200 on an 18 meg profile. It's just not going to happen. 